How often do you discover something this good? Remember the last time you ate in a terrific restaurant or saw a great movie? You probably couldn't wait to tell everyone you knew all about it. That's how I feel about Macintosh. You and I know Macintosh can help a lot of people do their jobs better, in less time, and more creatively. We can pass that message along to our customers by telling them and showing them how Macintosh can improve their work. To help you demonstrate how the unique capabilities of Macintosh can be used to meet your customers' needs, you're going to meet Gary Donovan, a retail salesperson who understands the great sales potential of Macintosh. Gary's performance may give you a couple of ideas that you can use in your own selling situations. We'll see Gary demonstrate Macintosh to two typical customers with different needs. In each case, Gary uses the key selling points of Macintosh to help convince his customers that Macintosh is the solution for them. Those key selling points are highlighted for you in the Macintosh Selling Guide. They are, one, Lisa Technology, two, 32-bit architecture, three, personal productivity tools from leading software companies, and four, it's one complete transportable box. Let's see how Gary uses these key points to help sell Macintosh. Gary's first customer is Walt Jacobs. Walt is the vice president of a small company. He's heard of personal computers and is aware that they could help him improve his personal productivity, but he's always been a little hesitant to try one. Jane West, Gary's second customer, is a middle-level manager in a large company who's more knowledgeable about computers than Walt. Here's Walt now. Hi, I'm Gary Donovan. What brings you into our store today? Well, I'm Walt Jacobs, and I'm looking for a computer that might be able to help me in my business. Ah, well, you've come to the right place. Um, were you interested in any particular computer? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, I saw an ad for an Apple called Macintosh. Ah, and what was it about Macintosh that attracted your attention? Well, the ease with which you can learn to use Macintosh. You, you see, I've never really considered using computers before because I'm not a technical person. And frankly, computers have always seemed pretty confusing. But the ad made it sound like Macintosh might be easy to learn. Well, Macintosh is very easy to learn and use. Uh, what type of business are you in? I am the vice president of Smith Bates and Company. Oh, I see. Well, what parts of your job as vice president do you see Macintosh helping you with? Well, the company is experiencing a very rapid growth, and I'm swamped. I spend more and more of my time doing paperwork, uh, letters, uh, reports, memos. Uh, how would you like to change that? Well, I'd like to do my job faster and better, and it would give me more time for planning for my company's continued growth. How do you do your paperwork now, Walt? Well, I usually write it by hand, or I dictate it to a secretary. And then the work goes to a typing pool. And after that, there are usually revisions and more revisions, and that all takes time. So what you're looking for is a personal computer that can help you do your work more efficiently? That's right. Could you give me an example of the kind of planning you've been doing? Well, sure. Recently, I've been working on budget and revenue forecasts for next year. Do you ever use spreadsheets in your financial planning, Walt? Not as often as I'd like to. Why is that? Well, I do spreadsheets with a pencil and a calculator, but that takes a lot of time, and it's usually a hassle. And by the time they've gone through typing, I've already lost a lot of time, and there are often mistakes. Would you like to be able to do your spreadsheets more quickly and easily, and even revise them yourself? Oh, sure. I mean, that way I could spot future trends. I could make even better decisions. Do you ever use the spreadsheet information in your memos, Walt? Uh, yes, I do. But that's one more time that it has to go through typing, which means more delays and sometimes more errors. I see. Well, Macintosh can help you eliminate that step. Well, I'll be interested to see how. Walt, it sounds like you've got a heavy workload. Do you ever try to take some of the work home? More and more, I've been trying to do my thinking and writing at home, away from ringing phones and meetings. And I'd like to do more of my work there, but there are just so many reports and files that I can carry. Well, Macintosh can help you there, too. Now, to make certain I show you how we can meet all of your needs, let's recap what we've just discussed. You've said you want a computer that's easy to learn and use, and one that can help you do your memos and other work in less time. Right so far. And uh, to help you in planning, you'd like to be able to do spreadsheets quickly and easily. And you'd also like to find a way to do more of your work at home. Is that a complete list? That's about it. One more thing, Walt. Uh, has your company set aside money for buying a personal computer once you've found what you're looking for? Uh, yes, we have. But we're not prepared to make a major capital expenditure right now. Oh, 
I see. This is a good time for Gary to make sure Walt is aware of how affordable Macintosh is. Gary's quick to point out the alternative financing plans available to Walt through the Apple credit card program. When he's sure Macintosh is within Walt's budget, Gary still has a little more qualifying to do. Okay, Walt, we've covered financing. Will anyone else in your company be involved in making the final decision? No, that's my decision. Walt, I think Macintosh is the perfect computer for you. Now Gary feels that Walt's a qualified prospect and that Macintosh can meet his needs. So he decides to let Walt get better acquainted with Macintosh at the demo station. Walt, well, here's Macintosh. Oh, it's uh, smaller than I expected. Are you sure Macintosh can do everything I need? Wait till you see the power of Macintosh. Mm. It'll do everything you want, but it's small so you can move it around easily on your desk. Mm -hmm. It's there when you need it, but it's never in your way. And it comes complete in one transportable box. It will travel with you wherever it's most convenient for you to work. Mm. This five-minute presentation will give you a feel for the system and show you firsthand how easy Macintosh is to work with. When you're finished, I'll give you a more detailed demonstration to show you how Macintosh can help you achieve your specific objectives. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Well, it sounds fun. Let me show you. Gary gets Walt started at the demo station and lets him work on his own for a few minutes while he prepares a personalized demonstration. When Gary returns, Walt has finished watching the presentation and indicates that he's impressed by Macintosh's simplicity as well as its capabilities. Now Walt's ready for more in-depth information. I like the mouse, but uh, getting used to it is going to take some practice. It's what Macintosh lets you do with the mouse that's important, Walt. With the mouse and Macintosh, you don't have to memorize and type long commands the way you do with conventional personal computers. In comparison to that, learning to move the mouse is very easy. Good. As you saw at the demo station, Macintosh is a compact system. All the power you need is right here in this one box. Mm -hmm. It has an easy to read, high resolution screen and a detachable keyboard. Mm -hmm. It uses pocket size three and a half inch discs. The plastic covering makes them reliable and durable. Few worries about damaging them. Now, before we get into actual applications packages, let me describe what you see on the screen when you turn on Macintosh and insert a disc. The gray area is the electronic desktop. Like your office desk, it's where you do your work. The electronic desktop is part of what's called Lisa technology. It's what makes Macintosh incredibly easy to use. Mm. And you'll see why as we go along. Okay. Notice the pictures or icons along the side? Our desktop is just like yours. We use familiar objects like those you have around your desk. <laughs> we even have a trash can. As you've already seen, you use the mouse to select the objects you want to work on. What do you think? Macintosh makes sense so far? Fine. 